page and today I'm going to be reacting to Everglow's first. I'm reacting in my closet because my mom's sleeping in the living room and I know that I'm going to freak out so I can't because the walls are like super thin so I can't like be close to where she's like sleeping or you know bad things will happen but um, I love Everglow so much. Sixth favorite girl group of all time I believe of my list. I'm trying to remember how my list went but I think they're six. And I adore them so much. Asha is my bias. Fully established that Onda used to be. So she's my wrecker. I love her to death. I love them all to death. Um, now this is going to be interesting. Because their last mini was immaculate. Like truly the best flavor that is known to man. Uh, Untouchable is my favorite Everglow song. La Di Da is my second favorite Everglow title track. Behind Bon Bon Chocolat. But it's so freaking close to being first. Because it's so immaculate. And that's why I'm sitting here, I'm like, how are they going to top this? I listened to the medley. Um, I don't know if the B-sides are going to be... Like, I'm going to enjoy them probably, but I don't think they're going to be my faves. Um, the title, though, I can see this being real... Because Everglow has not put out a bad title yet. I don't think they ever will. So I'm definitely not going to dislike it. I will like any title Everglow puts out. They have not disappointed me once. So I'm super, super excited. I already pre-ordered the albums because I collect Everglow albums. Um... Yeah, but without further ado, there was no music video teaser for this, just the medley and then the little um, other things they've been doing. So I'm really, really curious as to how this music video is going to look. Concept photos were insane. It's like they're going to war. I love that for them. Um, and I, Sheehan's, uh, Sheehan's freaking photos were, woo, she, oh, they all were great. They all were so good. Um, you with brown hair with bangs, immaculate, too much flavor. And I don't know, I'm just so excited. Oh, and the and um you're in with um pigtails. Mm, mm mm. I I I'm just so excited. I'm i so, I'm beyond excited. I can't even explain. So we're gonna react to this and I'm gonna freak out. I'm probably really gonna freak out over Asha too. I, I apologize in advance. She makes me go insane. So <laughs> without further ado, we're gonna react. Ready? One, two. Oh my god, my queen, my queen, my queen. <gasps> Violins. What in the- this is what the video is? Oh my god. I hope they all get good lines. This is insane already. I love the quick words. I'm, oh my god, the budget. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is insane. This is insane. Bring the pre-course again, I love it. this video
the vocals in this song. And it's all she ends. Bridge, bridge, bridge. So much potential. Look at this freaking aesthetic. It's gorgeous. Oh, we're building. Oh my god. Ooh. You own this comeback. You. Holding the weight on your shoulders. Holy fr- holy- oh, oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Um, oof. First listen, love at first listen. Love at first listen, which is really difficult to do with me. Um, normally I do like them at first listen, but it's hard for me to love at first listen. There are certain songs that hit me at first listen that I know I'm going to love even more in the future. This is one of them, but I love it at first listen, and I know it's just going to grow even more, and that's a good feeling. I already- like I told you, I love all the titles. I love them all. Like, I promise you, I obsess, I'm obsessed with every single title that they put out, but I already know that I like this more than Adios and, um, Dun, oh my gosh, Dun Dun. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm, like, so shook because, like, like, I kind of know what to expect, but I skipped a little through the highlight medley, so I didn't really know what it sounded like, like, at all. Like, I did little skips and I heard, like, two, like, a second or two before I skipped again, so I kind of was like, eh, and then I've seen like other things put out but, like i didn't really know what this was gonna fully sound like in general and i was like okay these comebacks are really intense and the, the pictures they're really intense um and i was like everglow it's everglow so like they are they're gonna do the most that they need to because also their company's rich as hell so they're just the budget is out of this world like that video was insane that video uh, I don't want to bring I don't want to bring other groups down or anything in this video and it's not the group or anything it's not their fault it's the production blah 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 and the production for the teasers were better in general for Aspa, but I think this video was better than Aspa's in terms of budget and design and aesthetic and everything. Um, like I said, I don't want to bring other groups in. I feel kind of bad doing that or weird. Um, it's not the group's fault. It's whoever made the video. And Aspa's video was, was gorgeous too. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that Aspa's was like the level to exceed and they've done it. And oh, I can't. I'm so shook right now because this literally was one of the most intense, badass, butt-popping bangers of the year already and it's gonna be on repeat. It's gonna be on repeat. Whatever b-sides they got on this album, I am sorry. This song is the one. They have two b-sides on this album and one's kind of like a ballad-like song but I'm so out of breath. I'm so shook right now. I'm so sh I shouldn't have expected anything lower from them but literally I was like how are they gonna follow up La Vida? Like that's really literally song of the year for like half the k-pop nation that song was amazing and i don't know if they followed it up yet i don't know if for this more than that yet i don't know yet i don't but i do know that they've at least met it <laughs> they've met the expectations and they've done it and i was like they can't do it there's no way but they freaking did i'm just so oh my god i'm so out of words i love them so much and i think that they are one of the best girl groups in the world given they're not even my top five they're number six but i still think they're like one of the best girl groups ever um <laughs> I miss them. I saw them like last year and I miss them. But thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go listen to that a million more times and recover from this because I am shook beyond belief. But thank you guys for watching. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna go. Social media in the description will follow you can. If you like, you can like, you can subscribe, you can subscribe. I'll see you guys here for all you can. Okay, bye guys.